this one works in such a way that whatever gear you see here is your maximum gear. So right now, I'm starting on first, second, third gear normally. It just limits my maximum. So, I mean, you see I drop in third and it's not really affected much. I didn't jump all the way. Um, and this was, uh, in the M45s, this only happened in 2003. In 2004, they jumped to the normal transmission. Uh, to the more common, so to say, to, to Nissans. That is, it's gonna hold your gear until it starts screaming. I don't know what gear we're in, let me see. So, we were in five. Okay, so, punch. Move it to the left. D, move it to the right. So that's fifth gear. To the right, defaults to fourth. And the RPMs jump a little. Punch. See, drop to fourth. Pretty, pretty aggressive. I'll try to, okay, let's go down. Actually, drop down to third. I'd say, yeah, that's, that's like third. And of course, if, so, so I leave it in fourth right now. Guess. I didn't punch it too aggressively, but it moves. And I'm gonna do it again. Now, punch! I'm gonna try to hold first gear for as long as I can. There you go. Self shifted right there. That's, that's one of the differences. This thing is gonna upshift to really, really high uh, engine speed. So let's try from second to third, see if it does it again. Nope. So all it does is shift up from first to second, just to get you out of trouble. At least, in, you know, it's, it's some kind of a warning. So I just moved it to third by myself because uh, I don't want to keep bumping the rev limit on my car. So this one does not shift, it just stays in the gear. I want to take off. Let's go. I have to manually upshift. This transmission now seems to hold high gear. See, I have it in fifth, and the stomp on the gas, it, it, it kind of just stays there. Put it in fourth, stomp on the gas. Doesn't seem like it's jumping to third. So, uh, car pulled out in front of me. I'm gonna do the same test like in drive. Let's see what happens. Trying to accelerate to 40. Step on it. Drops, right? Put it in manual. Into fifth. Good. Try to do the same thing. Try to accelerate into 40. Step on the gas. It just stays in fifth and just keeps going. So that's one of the differences is that the the O3 will, when you put it in manual, it's like a limit, is this is no higher than you should go. On the O5 though, it acts like, a, kind of like a true manual, it says, okay now stomp, 
have been fifth, stay there. And if you're driving too slow for it to be in fifth gear, it's gonna um, it's gonna just stand forth. It's gonna limit the the high gear for you. So Take a turn into the school here, so just leave it in fifth or sixth since I can move there. Oh, seventh, nice. It's really good on gas because of that reason. But so let me turn into this school over here and try to leave from from first gear. Just cream all the way. It's not gonna upshift for you. So that is, well, those are some of the differences. And it doesn't have shift at all. Trust me, I know. It no, it doesn't have shift from one, doesn't have shift from two. It just, it just stays there. So I'll bump this uh, gear selector to the right, put it in D, and let the smart computer do its thing for the sake of. Simplicity just left this in normal mode, not sport, not nothing. And I can use my pedal shifter, so this one right here, I can drop a gear to fourth, I can increase the gear to fifth, but if we don't touch anything else while it was in drive, pretty soon it goes back to drive. So that's just for passing, it just helps you pass. I'll do the same thing, put it in manual, but then I'll use my pedal shifters. Plus, this is I'm just gonna let it slow down by itself. Let me use a pedal shifter this time to go to the highest I can. Okay, still, it's not accelerating, it's dead. So, regardless of whether you use a pedal shift or not, well, as long as you go to manual mode, this transmission stays in that gear. It doesn't go anywhere. Drop it to fourth using this pedal shifter. But it doesn't drop any further, you know? So, even punching the gas. Watch gas. Let's pedal to the metal right there. This creeps up slowly. So interesting, interesting programming they had, you know. So I'm gonna push back to drive, to auto, then to manual. I'm using the gear lever right now. That's it. Doesn't really do much. However, so we're in drive right now. Let's try to figure out what gear we're in. It doesn't jump gears or anything when you do that. See, it dropped down. <laughs> so it's 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 pretty impressive. I like the way it does that. That part of it, you know, in drive, and that's one of the reasons I say this this transmission is really good in drive. 